Jeffy. Daddy, I just made this new song. It's so fire, you have to hear it. No, I have a headache. Well, too bad, Daddy. I'm gonna play it for you anyway. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Right here. Jeffy, turn it off. Daddy, I'm gonna sing for you. I poop my pants. I didn't wipe. It's running up my back right now. It's starting to itch. Jeffy, turn it off. It's on my fingers. Jeffy, turn it off. It smells real bad. Jeffy. The piano so loud. Daddy, check out this D major. <laughs> Jeffy, stop being annoyed. Mario, use his toy. Go get it for me. <laughs> Jeffy, here's your toy. Go, go get it. All right, guys, welcome back to Junior's Toy Reviews. I'm gonna show you off my Thomas the Tank Engine collection. Here's my regular Thomas. Here's my little baby mini Thomas. Here's my fat, chunky boy Thomas. And here's my limited edition, never before opened, solid gold PSA 10 gold Thomas. <laughs> Jeffy, you just ruined my video. Oh, I'm sorry, Junior, what are you doing? I'm trying to become YouTube famous like Ryan's Toy Reviews so I can make millions of dollars and get a gold play button. A gold play button? What's that? Well, when you hit a million subscribers on YouTube, they send you a solid gold play button with your name on it. Oh, I want a solid gold play button, Junior. You want to help me make YouTube videos? Heck yeah. All right, so I was thinking that we could prank Chef Pee, Pee but I didn't have anyone to hold the camera. Okay, and we can throw hammers at him or something. Yeah, we can prank him with like a fake snake or something. Oh, that would be so Pee, -pee Junior. Yeah, look, 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 let's go prank Chef Pee, -Pee. All right, let's go. All right, Jeffy, we're going to prank Chef Pee, -Pee with this fake snake. Look. It's so real. Oh, that's so sick, Junior. We're gonna get all the views. Yeah, he's really gonna believe it. What? No. Pumpkin, get away from it, Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Get bad Pumpkin. Pumpkin, get away from bad it. Bad Pumpkin. But look, Pumpkin believes it's real, so Chef Pee's gonna think it's real too, okay? All right, Junior, let's go. Mm -mm -mm. I love pizza rolls. All right, Jeffy, unleash the snake. All right, Junior, pull me on and get my pants. No, the snake. Oh, you're talking about a thing that's bigger than two inches. I got it right here. <laughs> No, 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 can't touch this dude. Jerry, what's going on? Pranked. What, prank? Uh, you trying to throw a hammer? Are you killing me? That's not a prank. Pranked. You know what, I'm going to tell you that. It's just a prank, Chef Pee, -Pee. calm down. We're going to get so many views for Chef Pee, -Pee freaking out. Hey, we sure are, dude. Let's uh, go upload it to YouTube. Let's go upload it. Mm -mm. I love pizza rolls. All right, Jeffy, I uploaded our video, and I titled it Chef Pee Pee Prank Hilarious So Funny Ha Ha Gone Wrong With Hammer. Oh, sweet, Junior. How many views we got? We got a rockin' five views. Okay, well, how many until we get our gold play button? Well, we need a million subscribers, and if we assume that the five people that watch it subscribe, we still need... A bunch of subscribers, like we're not even close. Oh, dang it, Junior! I want my gold play button now! I'm tired of waiting! I'm tired of waiting too! I wish I had a gold play button like right now, but I think it's gonna take us a couple years. Well, what about this Super Mario Logan guy? He's got 38 M views. Wait, that means million! Wait, he has to have a gold play button! <gasps> Wait, what if we break into his house and we try to steal his gold play button? Oh, I think we should totally do that, Junior. Let's Google his address. Just Google his address and see if it pops up. Alright. Jeffy, look! His address is online! PP! Junior, we should totally go there and steal his gold play button! I mean, his address is online, so he's basically begging us to come steal his gold play button. Right! Right! Like, like we should show up at nighttime and say we're fans, because because he's going to think we're fans, and we're going to ask to take a picture of his gold play button, and when he's not looking, we're going to snatch it. Yeah, Junior, let's go! Let's go to his house right now! Yeah, let's go right now! <laughs> All right, Jeffy, there's his house. And he's got the Lambo sitting out front. I call dibs. We're not stealing the Lambo. Oh, come on, Junior, please. Okay, fine. If we see the key sitting around, we'll steal the Lambo. Yes. All right, so we're going to knock on the door, pretend we're fans, and when he lets us in, we're going to steal the gold play button. Um, Junior, I think we should take these ski masks off or else he's going to think that we're going to rob the place. Well, well, we don't want him to see our identity because if he sees us while we steal, he's going to call the cops on us and know who we are. Yeah, but if he sees us in masks, he already might call the police. So I think we should take them off. Okay, how about you take the mask off and pretend to be a fan and when you get in the house, you open up a window so I can sneak in with a mask on and take the gold play button and he'll never know that I was snuck inside the house because you opened up a window. Oh, good idea, Junior. Let's do that. All right, you go to the door. I'll go to the back. All right. I'm at his house, 11 o'clock at night. Nothing weird about this. I'm just going to ring his doorbell and maybe he'll give me a house tour. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know, dude. Well, who's at the door? Bro, I don't know. This is your house, and we almost had that scene. 11 o'clock at night. Uh, exactly. It's 11 o'clock at night. The fans cannot show up at night. It's your house, though. You need to tell them to go. I swear if it's fans, I'm, I'm going to scream. Uh, hello? Ah! 
Are you Super Mario Logan? Yeah. The creator of Jeffy? Yeah. Where's the Jeffy puppet? Um, Lance has it. Can I hold it? Well, Lance isn't here right now. Well, I saw his truck out front. Okay, well, he's upstairs, but we're not using Jeffy today. Okay, where's Junior? I mean, I'm using him for a scene. We're trying can to I hold Junior? Well, we're trying to get a scene right now. Well, I can be in the scene. I'm the best to set the scenes. I'll get it one take. Well, I mean... Uh, It'll be a one take Timmy. Okay, well, we're trying to get... Can I get a house tour? I mean, we're not letting fans... Can I live here? Well, we're not letting fans inside the house because of the cough cough. Well, I've already had it, so we're good. So, can I, can I live here? Well, where's your parents? Oh, they're in the car. We drove all the way from Alaska nonstop to be here. Wow, this is Alaska. all I wanted for my birthday. I just wanted to come see you, and now I'm here and standing in front of you. I can see you with my eyes. I can see them. Yeah, okay, well, Alaska's a very far away. Yeah, it was. It was a, the tires never stopped moving. Okay. Like, nonstop. We didn't even sleep. What? Two days. Two days we drove here to see you for my birthday, and now I'm not leaving until I get to hold the Jeffy puppet. Can I have some merch? I mean, we have merch. I can give you some merch. Okay, okay. Can I get a PlayStation 5 well, that's and an merch. Xbox X that's and an merch. Xbox S? I mean, that's not... Where's Precious? She's in my room. Can I see Precious? Can I hold Precious? Can I have Precious? Well, she's under the bed. What about Pumpkin? Where's Pumpkin? I mean, he's in the house. Can I have him? No. Why? Because he's my cat. Why? Because I want... Look, look, look how about... Hold on, hold on. Can I eat dinner here? No, I, no. Hold on. One more thing. Can we FaceTime my brother's sister's best friend's husband's cousin's sister? I know he'll answer. And if not, we'll just try it 20 more times because you have time. Well, I don't. I, look, we have to really get this scene. I'm, I'm, I'm Okay, I'll watch. Well, no, we just. Look, okay, how about this? Thanks for being a fan. Okay, hold on, hold on. One more thing before I go. Can I have a picture with the gold play button? Oh, yes, that's something I actually can do. Okay, so, all right, let's do it. You get a picture with that, uh -huh. and then you gotta go, okay? And then I can drive the Lambo. No, no, you're not old enough. How old are you? 17. Uh, look, okay, listen, look, let's just go get a picture with the gold play button, and then we'll think about it. All right. All right, here's the gold play button. When's the HTML movie coming out? I mean, we're still working on it. Take your picture with the gold play button. I'll have a phone. Well, how are you supposed to take a picture? It's hot in here. Can I open up a window? No. I'm gonna open up a window. It's hot in here. Don't. <sighs> What, well, Jeffy, you made it inside? How is it? Oh, it's really cool, Junior. He let me see the gold play button. Is it golden? Oh, yeah. It's super gold, Junior. And I think my chances of driving the Lambo are pretty good. Really? Yeah, and he's really, really nice. So he might even let me have the Lamborghini. That's so cool. Okay, let's grab the gold play button. All right, this is a good idea, Junior. <sighs> was it a fan? Yeah, now he's inside the house. He won't leave. Wait, wait what? You let him in? Come on, Logan. Why? We, we filming right now. I know, but he wanted a picture with the gold play button, and now he won't leave. He's opened up windows. <sighs> Did he fart? No, he's opened up windows. I don't know why he's opened up a window, but Lavelle, can you help me get him out? I guess. Look, you gotta learn to be me, Logan. Dang. <sighs> yeah, this is why you don't let people in your house at 11 o'clock at night. Here it is, Junior. Whoa, it's so golden! Oh, yeah, I've already seen it, though. This is, like, my second time seeing it. Okay, help me get it off the wall. All right. <laughs> what? It's, like, stuck on the wall. Yeah, Junior, how are we gonna get off the wall? Okay, well, we only want the gold part, so let's find a hammer, shatter this glass, and steal the gold part. Oh, good thinking, Junior. All right, you stall, I find a hammer. All right, Junior. All right, here's Lavelle. You're the voice of Chef Pee Pee. Mm -hmm. You're the voice of Joseph. Yep. You're the voice of Toad. Exactly. You're Charlie, dude, Charlie. Uh, uh Charlie? Uh, okay. Hi, guys, I'm Charlie. <laughs> uh, so what What you want? You want a picture or something? No, I don't have a phone. You're Chef Pee Pee, do the voice of Chef Pee Pee. Uh, so what do you want me to say? Anything. Uh, Junior, get out of this kitchen. <laughs> Where's Lance? Um, you know what, Lance, come Lance, here, someone want to see you. Lance, 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 where are you at? Hey, Lance, there's a fan here. Can you please talk to him so he'll leave? Okay, yeah. Ah, you're the voice of Jeffy. You're Lance, that's you. Yep. Um, can you say something in your Jeffy voice? Well, what do you want me to say? Say, hey, Jeffy, what doing? All right. Hey, Jeffy, what doing? <laughs> that's so cool. I'm going to go upstairs and see if there's some stuff I can take. Um, Logan? What? He said he's gonna go upstairs and take some stuff, so. Oh, you were supposed to help me get him out! But you let him in your house! Oh my god, I'm sitting on the red couch! Can I have it? No. This is the red couch that you film on! I know. I, I, can I have Junior? No. Why? Because I need him. Well, can I have Joseph? No. Can I have Cody? No. Why? Because I only have one of them. Well, can I live here? What? No, I gotta get back to filming. Well, I drove all the way from Alaska. I wanna live here. Well, you can't live here. Just look, can you please leave? No, I can't leave because my parents dropped me off. I told him to come back in a couple hours, so I'm what? stuck here. Well, I need, to, I need to get back to filming, so can you just, I'll call you an Uber. No, I don't want an Uber. I want to live here. I want to be in the film. Can I be in the film? No, I, I gotta finish filming. Look, please just leave. No, I want to see you on the red couch watch you film. Leave! Oh, wow. You're mean. You're the meanest YouTuber I've ever seen. Ever. Wow. Never meet your idols. I'm glad you got demonetized. Rude. All right, I'm about to steal that gold. Wait, what? Hey, Logan! 
There's a kid in the ski mask trying to steal your play button. I gotta hurry up and bring it. Hey! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! Ah, Jimmy, we're caught! Run! Yeah, you're caught! Run, Jimmy, run! Oh my god, that was the weirdest fan ever. Ah, oh, the weirdest, dude. The weirdest. <sighs> Well, that sucks. We didn't get the gold play button. Yeah, Junior, and they were super mean. Yeah, they were the meanest YouTubers ever. I can't wait to tell everyone that the Super Mario Logan is the meanest YouTuber in the world. He didn't give us any merch. Yeah, but we did get one thing, Junior. What? what? Is that the Lambo key? It's the Lambo key. Shotgun! <laughs> All right, let's try to get this scene. What's that noise? I'll go check. Uh, Logan? They took your Lambo. What? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's Puppet Logan. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I just want to let you guys know that we're having a contest on SMAmerch.com where every $10 you spend on the website, you'll be entered into a contest where you'll have a chance where we'll make a puppet that looks just like you. We'll use it in an SML video and it'll be named after you. So this contest will go on until November 22nd. We'll announce the win on November 23rd. So every $10 you spend, you'll get more chances added onto the contest where you can win a puppet that looks just like you, made to look just like you, and we'll use it in an SML video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the contest. Go on SMLmerch.com. But I just want to tell you you guys that you're amazing you're the best fans in the world and without you we would never be able to do something like this so you guys are awesome we love you and we're gonna continue to make videos just for you guys ah, dinosaur stop trying to bite my hand you already bit my girlfriend in half hey junior what are you doing playing with pipe cleaners why aren't they called pipe cleaners because you can clean your pipes with them here play with a blue one clean pipes you say well i got a two inch pipe it can clean What's up, dude? What's up, Joseph? Notice anything different about me, bro? Did you get a tan? Nah, dude, you know I'm black. <laughs> I got my ears pierced. What, you got your ears pierced? Don't only girls get their ears pierced? No, dude, guys can get their ears pierced too. It's totally straight, nothing gay about it. Um, Junior, I think it got stuck. Well, Joseph got his ears pierced. Oh, no way, that's so cool. I want my ears pierced. Well, you have to ask your parents, dude. See me? I don't have parents, so I don't have to ask anybody. Well, who pierced your ears for you? Some homeless guy in the alley with a dirty needle. <laughs> well, I'm totally gonna ask my daddy, and I know he's gonna say yes. Hola, papi. Jeffy, don't call me poppy. Well, what do you want me to call you, daddy? Stop talking like that. Um, father, may I penetrate my earlobe with a very sharp device and wear it for fashionable purposes? What? Can I get my ears pierced? Oh, no, Jeffy, you can't get your ears pierced. Marvin, he's 17 years old. Exactly, he's 17. When he's 18, he can do whatever he wants, but since he's 17, he has to listen to me. You never let me do what I want. What's this poking out of your shorts? Don't touch it. <laughs> Son of a biscuit eating bitch! What, Jeffy, what, where was this at? It was in my arena! Why was it there? Because it's a pipe cleaner, Daddy, and it was cleaning my pipe. And now it's as clean as a whistle. And the hose blow it like one, too. Like, hee, 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 hee. What, Jeffy, just go. Go get my ears pierced, or. No, no, you cannot get your ears pierced. Leave! I hate you! Mm. What'd your dad say, Jeffy? He said. No! How do you have time to make that? Why'd your dad say no? Cause someone pissed in his Fruit Loops. Oh, I hate when that happens, dude. Oh, somebody did that to me yesterday. I mean, I still ate it, but gross, right? So what are you gonna do now that you can't get your ears pierced? Well, I'm still gonna get my ears pierced. But your dad said no. Yeah, but if you take away the N, it leaves O, which means, oh yeah, do it. Huh, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, so let's pierce my ears. Oh, get the piercing gun. All right, got the piercing gun, dude. All right, Jeffy, what ear do you want to get pierced? Well, which ear means I like big sausage in my pooper? I think the right. All right, well, then strong left. Is it going to hurt? Well, any sausage in your pooper is going to hurt, Junior. No, I meant the piercing. No, dude, it'll hurt for like 10 seconds. That's it. Now, the blood infection from the dirty needle, that'll hurt. All, All right, right, let's send it. All right, dude. Here we go. Ah! I'm just kidding. It just felt like a pinch. Oh, whoa, whoa. what earring are you going to put in your ear? Oh, I got my mommy's jewelry box. So I'm going to go get an earring on that. All right, guys. Check out my earring. Mm. Oh, my God. It looks so cool. You want to get the other ear pierced? No, I don't really like big sausage in my pooper. Hey, Joseph, you got your right ear pierced. It's totally straight, dude. A lot of rappers have both their ears pierced, and they're not gay. At least not that I know of. So what do you guys want to do now? How about we play tag? Tag your it. Ah! Uh, tag your it. Tag your it. Ah! Oh! Get back here, Jimmy. Oh! I know, Junior! It hurts so bad! Wait, what's going on, dude? Jeffy's ear ripped off! Ah! We have to call a doctor! No, Junior, we can't call a doctor because my daddy told me not to pierce my ear! And if he finds out that I pierced my ear and I ripped it off, I'm gonna get in trouble! Oh, okay, well, let's try to put your ear back on. Come on, let's go to the red couch! Okay! Ah! Alright, Jeffy.
Jeffy, we're gonna put your ear back on. Oh, Junior, how? We need something sticky. Ooh, I got some chewing gum. It's pretty sticky. Ooh, put, put your gum on the ear. Oh, okay. Ugh. All right, Jeffy, try to put your ear back on. Okay. Oh, no. It's not working, Junior. What do we do? Uh, we need something stickier, like tape. Ooh, I'll get the tape. <clears throat> One more piece and done. All right, I just put tape on your ear. Now try it. All right, Junior. I hope this works. How does it look? It looks so good. Oh, no. Well, it's not working, Junior. Okay, we got to think of something else. We really need an adult's help. How about we ask Chef Pee, Pee? No, what if he tells my daddy? No, I trust Chef Pee, Pee. He's really responsible. Yeah, he's not a snitch. Yeah, let's go ask Chef Pee, okay? Okay. <sighs> I'm almost done with Junior's dad's soup. He's been bothering me all day about it. Chef Pee, Chef Pee, Pee. What do you want, Junior? I'm making your dad's soup. Well, Jeffy's ear came off. Ah! Hey, he made me drop his ear in the soup. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Chef Pee, Pee, my soup better be ready. Oh, no, I got to get the ear out. Man, oh man, am I hungry. <gasps> Junior, what are you doing? You know the man of the house has to eat first. Give me that spoon. But, but dad, but dad. I, I, uh, 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 give me that spoon, I gotta eat first. But uh, I don't think you should eat that. I'm starving. <gasps> Wait, are you calling me fat? I'm a beautiful woman, God. <laughs> oh no, he has the ear. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of people calling me fat. I'm not fat, I'm big bone. Dad, please don't eat that. Junior, we need to have the talk. You need to stop judging people based on their bodies, especially women. Yeah, everybody wants a 10. They're beautiful and pretty, but they're boring. They don't know how to cook. Ew, yuck, Puh. Get you a two. Yeah, they're ugly, but they'll do anything for you. Yeah, I'm talking about anything. <laughs> so get you a two and not a 10. But dad, I don't want you eating this. Look, I have to eat this, Junior. I have to eat this so I don't become a 10. <laughs> no, dad, there's something with the ear in there. Oh, dad, no, please, I'm dead, dad. Oh, delicious. <laughs> he just ate Jeffy's ear. Oh, no. Did he eat the ear? Yeah. Did he like it? Uh, yeah. It's the secret ingredient. I gotta chop some ears off. Junior, your dad ate my ear? I tried to stop him. Well, what are we gonna do now? Um, ooh, I got an idea. Come on, come on, come on. So what's the plan, dude? I just called Mr. Potato Head and told him to come over, so when he gets here, we're gonna jump him and take one of his ears so we can give it to Jeffy. Okay, okay, I like this plan. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Hey, guys, it's me, Mr. P-Head, here to party. So what are we gonna do? Oh, nothing. Just turn you into mashed potatoes, bitch. Jump it, jump I got the ear. How's your look? It doesn't look too bad. Looks like our job here is done. I'm going home and taking Mr. P with me. Well, why are you taking him? Uh, because he doesn't have ten holes for no reason, dude. <laughs> well, look, your your face actually looks pretty good with the ear. Like you couldn't even tell. Like look over here. Really, Junior? Oh yeah, you can't even tell that's a fake ear. Hey Marvin, have you seen my other hoop earring? You know the one that I wear all the time, and it looks just like this. Wait, you're missing an earring? Yeah. And didn't Jeffy want his ears pierced? Yeah. Jeffy! I think your dad's calling you. Oh, I'm coming, Daddy. Jeffy, get in here. You summoned me, Father? Have you seen your mom's missing earring? Is it a big gold hoop? Yes. That looks like that one? Yes. I haven't seen it. What? Yes, you have, Jeffy. No, I haven't. You know what I think? Oh, I think you pierced your ear and you wanted to put an earring in it, so you took one of your mom's earrings. Bingo. So I'm right? No, I was singing Bingo was his name-o, and Bingo was his name-o. Jeffy, can I please have my earring back? I'll have it. Yes, you do, Jeffy, and you're grounded until you give it back. I'm sorry. Could you say that again in my bad ear? Why well, you have a Mr. Potato Head ear on your head. I don't have a Mr. Potato Head ear on my head. Yeah, remove it, Jeffy. Ow! Oh, hey, hey, no hitting. Ow! Hey! I said no hitting. Ah! Jeffy, you're missing your ear. Yeah, because someone ate it. What? No one ate your ear, Jeffy. Danny, I know how this sounds, and for the first time in my life, I'm not lying. Someone ate my ear. Then who ate it? I don't know his name, but it was some bald guy wearing money slippers. That's a lie, Jeffy. Marvin, what if he's telling the truth? There's no way Jeffy's telling the truth. If Jeffy's telling the truth, I'll write, I like big fat wiener on my forehead. Is anyone missing an ear? I just threw it up. I must have accidentally ate it. Big fat wiener. That's what you said you'd write. Uh, can we get the ear, please? Here. Oh, uh, well, let's call a doctor so we get your ear put back on. Not until you write it. Big fat wiener. Uh, I will write it, but I think we should call a doctor to get your ear put back on. Marvin, you said you'd write it. And I am going to write it, but I think we should we should worry about his ear. Stop that. I will write it later. I will write it later, okay? We got to call a doctor. I'm going to hold you to it. 
Hey there, did somebody call a doctor? Wait, what happened to the other guy? Oh, you mean Brooklyn guy? Oh, he's sick. But luckily, he keeps his door locked, so I can just go in there and steal his outfits. <laughs> so, what's your problem? What, she need a mammogram? I bet I could squeeze her in. Oh, no, she does not need that. Oh, oh, oh she needs a pap smear. I'm real good at smearing pap. No, are you good at surgery? Yeah, well, I mean, I've been inside a few hot babes in my day. Oh, no, no, are you good at surgery? Well, I don't know if you'd call it surgery, but I have rearranged a girl's guts before. No, my son is missing his ear. I'm the doctor here. Let me take a look. Hmm. Your son is missing his ear? Yeah, we're wondering if you could do surgery and reattach it. Oh, well, which one is his real ear, though? It, it, it's this one right here. Okay, well, I guess I can help your son with his ear. If your wife helps me with my ear. Rection. What? what? what can you just please put his ear back on his head? Well, I guess. Let's go into surgery. Marvin, how do you think the surgery's going? Well, the surgery was a suck, sis. Danny, it looks like I got a big fat ball sack on my face. Well, you put his ear on sideways. Hey, no refunds! And now that I've held up mine in the bargain, it's time for your wife to hold up hers. Will she be able to dethrone the throat goat from the bowling alley? We'll find out. But if I have to take you home afterwards, I'm gonna need some gas money. Or else I'm not doing it. Okay, right, you need to get out of here. So, Jeffy, can you hear? What? Oh no, he can't hear out of his ear. Oh no, I can hear, I just wasn't paying attention. <sighs> well, at least you have your ear back and everything can go back to normal. Alright, Daddy, time to ride it. Write what? I like big fat wiener right on your forehead. Time uh, to ride it. I, I don't have to ride it because you got your ear back. No, you have to ride it! You said you'd ride it! Marvin, it was a deal! <sighs> Hell yeah! How long do I have to keep it on my head? Forever, and if it ever washes off, you gotta ride it again because that's how wrong you were. <sighs> Officers, get in here! What's wrong, sir? It's time to give you your Christmas bonuses! Oh, great, I can finally afford Christmas presents! I can finally get me a motorcycle. Uh, sir, I think you made a mistake. This says $25, not $2,500. Well, that's because you boys haven't been making enough arrests! Wait, so we get paid depending on how many arrests we make? Yeah, from the courthouses and all that! Well, we didn't know that! Well, if you boys made more arrests, you'd get more money! But, but we have to get money ahead of Christmas! I'll tell you what, whoever can make the most arrests by the end of the night gets $20,000 as a Christmas bonus! I think I can get more arrests than you! I can get more arrests than you! You're on! <laughs> I'm coming! Hello? Hey, hey, is, is that your car over there parked in the road? Uh, that's Jeffy's car. Yeah, well, that, that, that is f***ed up. That is f***ed up that you think it's okay to do that, because that's illegal. It's illegal to park in the road? Yeah, you bet your ass it is. You, you have a driveway for a reason. You park there, okay? Because, like, what, what if a fire truck needs to come because there's a fire, and it can't park there because there's a car there, huh? Like, what, what if your neighbor across the street, that like, their house is on fire, and it's burning down, and then it burns all the way down, and all the kittens die because a fire truck couldn't park there to put the fire out because your car's there. That's f***ed up. I I just thought it was illegal to park in front of a fire hydrant. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, smart ass? Well come come with me. Come come look. What's that? What do you call that? A fire hydrant? Yeah, and look where he's parked. Right over there. No, that's so far away! Yeah, do you know how big a fire truck is? It's like a hundred feet long, and if it has a ladder on it, it's even bigger. So they'd have to park like right here, and then they'd have to run the hose from here all the way around the truck and his car to put the fire out over there. I bet you didn't even think about that, did you? Okay, look, I'll just get Jeffy to move the car. No, no, it's too late now. He already broke the law. I might have to arrest him. Well, I'll arrest him over where his car's parked? Yeah, yeah, so where is he? He's upstairs. Well, let's go talk to him. All right, officer, he's right here. Hey, you! What What are you doing? Riding my imaginary pony. Well, stop it, because I have a question for you. Huh? Is that your car out there in the road? Yeah. You're under arrest! Oh, Daddy, what's going on? Marvin, what's happening? He's arresting Jeffy for parking in the road, because that's illegal, apparently. No, it's not! Hey, hey, you two shut up, or I'll arrest you too. You can't arrest us, because we didn't do anything wrong. Oh, yeah? Well, whose Coke is that? Mine. Ha! Well, you just made a big mistake confessing to that, because that's illegal. It's Diet Coke. I don't care if it's better for you, it's still illegal. It's a Schedule II drug. You're under arrest. For what? For having and doing coke. Now get on top of him. Don't worry, Marvin. I'll bail you out. And what's that over there on your plate? Is that weed? No, it's lettuce. Yeah, like the devil's lettuce. You get a medical card for that? No. Well, you're under arrest too. And what's that? Canada dry? You're not even a U.S. citizen? You're from Canada? Let me see your papers. I don't have any. Well, then you're double arrested. Get over here and get on top of both <laughs> of them. All right, now I'm going to read you your rights. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to remain silent. And you have the right to remain silent. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. And if you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. You get an attorney. You get an attorney. You get an attorney. Everybody gets attorneys. Look under your seat. It's an attorney. Now you, you on the bottom, you piggyback everybody to the car. Yes, sir. Get in there. <sighs> 
Wow, I just got three arrests just like that. <laughs> suck that, Simmons. <laughs> yeah, suck it. Look, Danny, he's riding an imaginary pony, too. There's going to be someone in this house I can arrest. Okay, guys, are you ready to play Let Me Shoot You in the Face with my Nerf Gun? How is this supposed to be fun? Well, Joseph rolls those dice, and whatever number it lands on, that's how many times I get to shoot you in the face. Dude, I love this game! All right, Joseph, roll the dice. Don't mind if I do, dude. Ooh, that's eight! Ugh, damn it. All right, Cody, I'm about to shoot you eight times like 50 cents. Uh, that was nine times, dude. Oh, okay, I'll shoot you nine times but then. But that's not what the dice said. Freeze, what's going on here? The cops, what are you doing here? Is that a gun? Uh, it's a Nerf gun. Do you have a permit for that? No. Get on the ground, you're under arrest. This is ridiculous, it's a Nerf gun. Shut up, you. Dude, let's see how many years of prison you get. <laughs> Oh, dang, 11! You going down, bro. Are you shooting dice? You're under arrest too, that's illegal! What? You're gambling, get on top of him! Uh, okay, but well, this is discrimination! Wait, wait, that's how we're doing this? Uh, uh, officer, what do I have to do to you to get in that pile? That's bribery, you're under arrest too, get on top of him! I'm actually gonna just squeeze him in the middle Dude. here. Dude! Here we go. All right, all three of you under arrest, come to my car! What? Okay, who else can I arrest in this house? Hey, mate, can you get the door? What, Simmons, what the hell are you doing here? This is my house. Your house? Yeah, I've already arrested people here. It's off limits. I already claimed it. Well, I just arrested three people right here. Well, I just arrested three people. Well, it looks like we're tied, mate. Simmons, I'm getting that $20,000. I need it more than you do. I have child support. I have an ugly ex-wife. I have an ugly current wife. Well, I want a motorcycle. You don't even have legs, Simmons. You're just going to slide off. Listen, this house is off limits. You take these three to your car and then don't come back. All right, mate. <sighs> Stupid Simmons, this is my house. Come you stupid box, open it! <laughs> Freeze, you're under arrest! Uh, for what? You're a serial killer! Oh, haha, ha, I get it. No, no, really, you're under arrest for stabbing the cereal box, it's illegal. That's not illegal! Yeah, and what do you think a serial killer is, huh? And eating cookies for breakfast? That, that, that's just absurd. You should have, like, eggs or toast or something. There's a bunch of crimes going on here. Get on the ground! Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Okay! Bop, 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 bop! Ooh, man, I love playing me some Call of Duty! I got this 10 kill streak! Bop, bop! Did I just hear you say you killed 10 people? Yeah, it's about to be 11 too! Bop, bop. Oh man, you kill me, boo! I'm gonna come to your house, I'm gonna kill your daddy, and bang your mama. And then, I'm gonna marry your mama, I'm gonna become your stepdaddy, we gonna have some kids, and then I'm gonna keep banging your mama! I, I just heard you admit to a lot of crimes, so you're under arrest. Are you gonna arrest me? But what if I snitch on my friends? Will you let me go? Hmm, that depends on how many people I can arrest. Well, see, let me tell you about my boy Pookie. See, Pookie he, he goes up to the post office and he be mailing some letters without any stamps on them. See how he gets away with it is, is he puts the address where he wants it to go as the return address. So when they send it back for you to pay for some postage, he, he ain't gotta pay for it. And it goes where it's supposed to go. Huh, that, that's actually a really good idea. Well, let me tell you about my boy, Doodoo Ass. See, what he do is, he be goes up into the restaurants where he works, and he ain't wash his hands. That's really concerning with a name like Doodoo Ass. Yeah, it sure is. And then when people pay with cash, what he does is, he put the cash up in his pockets, and then he tells the owner that they died in dash. Okay, well, I, I will definitely look into Doodoo Ass. Man, I wouldn't do that, because you're going to get some pink eye. But let me tell you about my boy, Stank Breath. What he do is, he goes up into the Denim's office, and he steals a little free toothbrushes they be giving to people who get their teeth clean. And then he goes out front of the Dollar Tree and then sells them for a dollar. Wait, wait, wait. If he's stealing toothbrushes, why is he called Stank Breath? Well, because he's selling them. He ain't using them. Okay, well, is there anybody else? Yeah, my boy Steven. What? That's the first normal name I've heard. Yeah, let me tell you what he be doing. He dresses up in some camo frog and he goes around and gets some military discounts. And then the products that he gets the military discounts on, he sells it and then he keeps the money. Okay, well, you've given me a lot of useful tips, but I'm still arresting you. Oh! Oh man, you done turn me into a snitch. Snippips get pipips. Okay, well you're still under arrest. Come on. Hey, <gasps> Officer Simmons, my Officer Simmons is here. Hey, buddy, how's it going? I have something I have to show you. I threw boobies on an exit sketch so hard. That's indecent exposure. You're going to jail. Oh, I get it. You want to play cops and wobbles. Not really. Oh, I'll play you young. All right, put your hands behind your back. You're going to jail, buddy. Yeah, sure. All right, go to my squad car. I got to take care of your mother. Is that my big sexy hunk of a man, Simmons? Right here, ma'am. Oh, Simmons, I missed you, and I also put up my Christmas tree. I also hung the stockings, but there's just one thing missing. Someone to stuff my stockings. 
Well, I can do that for you, ma'am. Oh, no, Simmons. Is that something on your shirt? We might need to get that off of you. You know, ma'am, that's assaulting a police officer. Oh, no, Mr. Police Officer Man. Please don't have your way with me. Well, that's up to the judge to decide in the bedroom. Oh, no, let's go. All right. All right. All I have to do now is arrest Jonathan and my mom, and then I'll have seven arrests. There's no way Simmons has that many. Uh, uh, hello? Oh, hey, mate. What, Simmons, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, I was bouncing around in your mom's kangaroo pouch. She called me her little Joey, but I think I'm more of an average sized Joey. What do you think, mate? What? Ew, Simmons, ew! Uh, look, just let me arrest Jonathan and my mom. Too late, mate. Your mom's already handcuffed to the bed. Ew! Okay, well, fine. Just let me arrest Jonathan then. No, I already got him too. I arrested him for drawing boobies on an etch a sketch. Damn it. Well, how many arrests do you have now? I have five. Well, I have five. How are we still tied? I don't know, mate. Uh, oh, no, Simmons. It's almost midnight. We have to get back to the office. But we're still tied. Well, not after I arrest you for indecent exposure, because you're naked in public. Like, what, what, what if a family walks by? That's illegal. You're under arrest. Well, what if I arrest you because I'm here banging your mom? So that technically makes me your stepdad, and I own the place, and you're trespassing. So you're under arrest. No, you're under arrest. No, you're under arrest. No, you're under arrest. No, you're under, you're under arrest. Ew, 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 ew. Simmons, Simmons, it touched me. I'm going to need you to put clothes on before we do this. All right, mate. What is taking him so long? Oh, oh, sorry, mate. Your mom wanted another round of Simmons Says. Simmons Says Suck It. What? I don't need to know this, Simmons. You're under arrest. No, you're under arrest. No, you're under arrest. Come on. Come on. You're under arrest. Put your arms behind your back so I can arrest you. No, you put your arms behind your back so I can arrest you. No, you. Boys, boys, what's going on here? He well, you're arresting people and he my mom, and that's not for... I don't want to hear it. What matters is how many arrests did you make? Well, I made five arrests. Oh, I made five arrests. Well, actually, six if you count me winning because I'm on top. Okay, well, I guess I know who the winner is. But how? It seems like a tie to me. Unless you count me winning. Oh, we can split the money. I get 10,000 and you get 10,000. No. Actually, you know what? <laughs> wet willy. Wet willy. Wet willy. <laughs> no, I know who the winner is. Well, who is it? It's Lieutenant Cuddlesworth. <laughs> What the f*** does he need $20,000 for? He can't ride a motorcycle. And he doesn't have to even pay child support. How many arrests did he make? Officer Cuddlesworth made a whopping 15 arrests. Here's your money, boy. <laughs> Damn it, Simmons, we shouldn't have let money come between us. Yeah, I'm sorry, mate. I just really wanted a motorcycle. Friends? Friends. Now let's take that money anyway, because he's a dog. What's he even going to do with it? Ow! 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 My hand! Oh my god! Ow! 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 So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. I'm hungry. Me too. Me four. Well, we could order pizza. Ugh, that's gonna take forever. Dude, that's gonna take hours. I wish there was a pizza place that delivered pizzas fast. Like instantly. Well, nothing's faster. <gasps> Guys, I got an idea. It's a billion dollar idea. Maybe a trillion dollar idea. What is it, dude? What if we invented a pizza place that delivered pizzas fast? Dude, that's a dope idea. But, Junior, what do we know about making pizzas? Ow! Jeez, what the hell is that for? We don't need to know how to make pizzas, Cody. We just need to know how to deliver them fast. Idiot. Well, okay, well, how fast do you want to deliver them? Ten minutes! Yeah, ten minutes. That would be crazy. What, Jimmy, that's impossible. There's no way we can make pizzas and deliver them in ten minutes. He deserved it. Dude. Yeah. Chef Peepee will pre-make 10 DiGiorno pizzas and they'll always be ready. And when someone calls to order a pizza, we just grab a pizza and get in the car. Ew, Junior, we can't give people cold DiGiorno pizza. Don't slap me again. It won't be cold. We'll put it in the microwave. Junior, nobody's going to pay money for room temperature DiGiorno pizzas when they can just go to one of the hundreds of actual good pizza places. Well, our incentive is going to be that we deliver it in 10 minutes. Well, okay, but there's still going to be good pizza out there. Okay, well, we don't, we'll charge $1,000 for our pizza. Wait, Junior, no one's going to pay $1,000 for a pizza. Yeah, they will because it will tell them that if we don't deliver their pizza in 10 minutes or less, we'll pay them $1,000. Ooh, I pay $1,000. Junior, you're just going to end up losing $1,000 you don't even have. Hey, look, if we don't make it on time, I don't even have $1,000. So I'll just run away. Yeah. Well, how are we even going to get it there that fast? Uh, Jeffy's going to drive. I'll drive. I'll drive super fast. I'll even drive on the sidewalks. And I'll drive twice as fast in school zones. Yeah, so we'll definitely get there in 10 minutes or less. Junior, that's crazy. W what about trains? What? 
You want us to take a train? Trains are super slow, Cody, because if we get on the train, we have to wait for a train station. Oh, and what if someone doesn't live by the train tracks? We'll never make it there in 10 minutes. What? No, no, I didn't mean we deliver it by train. I mean, what if there's a train in the way and the, and the car takes longer to get there? We drive around the train. Junior, do you know how long a train is? We can't just go around it. Okay, we'll build a ramp and we'll jump over the train. And how long is that going to take? Probably? Why are you bringing up trains, Cody? No one mentioned trains. All we're going to do is make pizzas and deliver them in 10 minutes or less. And if we don't deliver it, we pay them 1000 If we deliver it on time, they give us 1000 it's a billion dollar idea. Everybody's gonna want to order a pizza and possibly get a thousand dollars, Cody. It's a genius idea. Well, Junior, you can't guarantee it's gonna be there in ten minutes. It's crazy. Yes, we can if we're Sonic the Hedgehog. We're not Sonic the Hedgehog. You got your ass there, dude. What? Listen, Cody, no one brought up Sonic the Hedgehog except for you. What? You mentioned Sonic the Hedgehog. Listen, we're gonna make a commercial and we're gonna tell people, order our pizzas, and if it's a thousand dollars, and if we don't get it there in time, we'll pay you a thousand. Everyone's gonna go crazy. They're gonna tell their friends, hey, bro, did you hear about the thousand dollar pizza? Oh, I heard about it, dude. Oh, I'm gonna order one right now. Oh, 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 and then we get there on time, and then they owe us a thousand dollars. And we keep doing this, and we make millions, billions, trillions dollars. Okay, okay, Junior, can we at least just make the pizzas before we make the commercial so we at least have pizzas when people call us? That's smart. That's smart. That's the first thing he said that said that was smart. Dude. Yeah, you're super smart, Cody. Okay, well, let's go get Shepard to make the pizzas. Then we'll make the commercial. And then when people see the commercial, we're going to be getting pizzas and billions of dollars and trillions of dollars. Yeah, let's get paid, dude. Mm, look at that meat. That's some thing. Meat, meat, and meat, meat. Mm, that meat. Yeah, that's meat, meat. That meat, you see, meat. You see the meat? Meat, meat, meat. That meat, 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 meat. Shepard, what are you doing? I'm making meatloaf, Junior, though. Wait, is that baloney? It's a loaf of meat, meatloaf. Well, I mean, I guess that's true. Hey, Chef Pee, can you make us 10 DiGiorno pizzas? No, I'm making meatloaf tonight. I'm not making any pizza, Junior. We need 10 DiGiorno pizzas. Well, I'm not making DiGiorno pizzas. You're eating meatloaf. But we're starting our own pizza company, and we want to sell DiGiorno pizzas. Wait, I'm not going to be a chef for you, Junior. What if we pay you $500 an hour? Junior, we can't afford that. Yes, we can. If we sell a pizza for $1,000, he only charges $500 an hour. Well, we're not even going to sell a pizza for $1,000. We're going to sell 30 pizzas an hour. We're going to make $30,000 an hour, Cody. Wait, Junior, that's impossible. We don't have enough people. We can't deliver the pizzas that fast. Cody, I think you're underestimating how fast my car is. Yeah, Cody, I don't think you understand that we have this covered. Look, let's go make the pizza commercial. Okay, guys, before we shoot our commercial, we have to think of a name of our pizza place. How about bankrupt? Because that's what we're going to be. Ooh, how about Abracadabza? <gasps> yeah, Abracadabza! Because our pizza gets there so fast, it's like a magic trick. It just comes out of nowhere. Abracadabza! Yeah! No, that sucks. That does not sound good at all. Well, what about dirty diaper stink pizza? I, I don't think anyone's gonna want a dirty diaper stink pizza. Well, what about dirty diaper stink shit pizza? That's not better. <gasps> I got an idea. How about Speedster's Pizza? Because we speed to your house so fast to get you the pizza. Speedster's Pizza? Yeah, I like that. No, no, no. I got a better one. How about Little Hungry Papa Speedster's Hut Pizza? What? Little Hungry Papa Speedster's Hut Pizza? Ooh, that's unique, dude. So you just want to get sued by everybody then? No, 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 no. I just want everyone to think about us when they try to think about ordering from our competitors. They're like, ooh, instead of Papa John's, instead of Little Caesars, instead of Hungry Howie's, we go to Little Hungry Papa Speedster's Hut Pizza. Little Hungry Papa Speedster's Hut Pizza? That, that doesn't really roll off the tongue. Listen, Cody, we're going to go with that name because it's the most famous name and everyone's going to be ordering pizzas from us, especially if they get a thousand dollars. All right, so let's go shoot our commercial. Okay, Cody, go. Uh oh. I, wow, I'm I, I'm so hungry. I sure would like a pizza. I just wish it didn't take so long to get pizza. Oh, Jeffy. Poof! Whoa! That pizza got here so fast. Who could have delivered a pizza that fast? Little hungry. My bib. Can you fix it? Yeah. Little hungry. Little Hungry Speedsters, Little Hungry Papa Speedsters Pizza, that's of course. Wow. Hut. That... Little Hungry, Little Hungry Papa Speedster Hut's Pizza, that's who could make it that fast. Wow, that was so fast. <laughs> what do you think, Jeffy? Pizza. Yeah. Okay, so, so if you order a pizza, we'll get it to your house in 10 minutes or less, or we'll pay you a thousand dollars. That's insane. But if we get the pizza at your house before 10 minutes, you owe us a thousand dollars. That's also insane. That's pizza, fast in a fast way. Yes. <laughs> order now. Um. Call this number. Uh huh. Give me the number. That number. Wait, Junior, is that my fucking phone number? They call this number no, Junior, for I, pizza $1,000. I don't want them calling my phone number. 
All right, guys, what'd you think about that commercial? I think I did a pretty good job holding the camera, dude. You did? Edit my number out. Okay, I will. Do it now. Well, I, I already edited it out, and I took it to the TV station, and they're going to air our commercial today. Wait, how did you get our commercial on TV? That costs money. I told them you were dying of some disease. <gasps> Are you okay, dude? I'm not really dying, Joseph. Oh. Okay, so let's just sit back and wait for the phone to ring so we can start making some pizzas. No one's gonna call. Wait, is my phone ringing? What? What, Junior, why are people calling me? You said you edited my number out. I lied. Answer, they already have your number. Damn it, Junior. Hello? Hi, I would like a pizza, please. What, really? Yeah, but I live across town, and I already mapped it, and it's 30 minutes away, so no way in fuck you make it here on time. I mean, you're probably right. Go. What, uh, uh, Junior, we need a pizza right now. Wait, it's a customer? Yes, we need a pizza. All right, let's go tell Chef Bibi. Uh, Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi, we need a pizza right now. Okay, okay, I'll get it out. Oh, sweet Jesus. What? You burned it, Chef PB! I'm oh, sorry! I got distracted by thinking about the $500 an hour I get paid! Junior, yeah. we can't deliver a pizza looking like that! Well, look, in the commercial, we didn't say it was good pizza. We didn't even say it was not burnt. So, listen, we had to deliver it just like this. Chef PB, can you put it in a box? What box? Uh, uh put it in the DiGiorno box. What? Okay. Junior, we can't put it in the DiGiorno box and they're gonna know it's DiGiorno! It doesn't matter if it's this DiGiorno. We didn't tell them it wasn't not DiGiorno. Look, just put it in the box. We gotta go. We only have 10 minutes. Okay, I got you. Hurry! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, come on, give, give, give me, let's go. Go, go, come on guys, let's go, let's go, let's go, what? It's raining, so my daddy gave me specific instructions that I'm not allowed to drive in the rain and I'm scared. What? Uh, okay, um, can, Cody, can you call the guy and let him know it's raining? What? No, Junior, he's not gonna care that it's raining, he wants a thousand dollars. Okay, okay, listen, what if we just started walking right now? Junior, he lives 30 minutes away by car. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Junior, we only have eight minutes now! Oh, okay, okay, listen, okay, it's raining, it's thundering, we're gonna get struck by lightning if we walk out there. Ooh, I got an idea. Everyone go upstairs, on the couch, I got an idea. Junior, we're wasting time! Come on! Okay, guys, just wait right here, and we're gonna deliver this pizza. Junior, we don't have time for this, we only have five minutes to deliver this pizza! If you'd be quiet and be patient, the solution is coming. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer, can you deliver this pizza for us? Uh, kid, I'm a cop, I don't deliver pizzas, I stop crying. We'll give you $300 if we can deliver this pizza in five minutes. Okay, you're on! Junior, he can't deliver this pizza in five minutes, that's impossible! Are you kidding me? I have a police car, people get out of my way, I can do it! Alright, so officer, go there, you have five minutes to get there, we're gonna make a thousand dollars, but we're gonna give you 300 of it. Okay, no problem! <sighs> J Junior, there's no way he's gonna make it in time, and even if he does, you're giving away basically 800 of our dollars! Listen, we're gonna make $200 from this pizza. I'm about to get paid! I'm here! Look at that. 0.42 seconds late. What? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and round up. One second late. What, what does that mean? It means you owe me $1,000. Why the hell would I owe you $1,000? Because it was part of the guarantee. Over 10 minutes, you pay me $1,000. It's over 10 minutes. What? Oh, oh, wow. Okay, I didn't sign up for that. What? Nobody told me that. Wow. Now pay me. Do you think he made it in time? Of course he made it in time, Cody. He's a cop. He can break all the laws. Hey. Hey, did you deliver the pizza? No, I was one second late, and the guy made me pay him $1,000 because apparently you guys promised him $1,000 if the pizza was late. Well, that's your fault. You should have drove faster. I drove 125 miles an hour, and then I got stopped by a train. Junior? Uh, well, why didn't you go around the train? Oh, it was a very long train. 170 cars, actually. I had time to count. And I was still only one second late. Oh, and I even went over speed bumps. I mean, fuck my alignment, right? Yeah, you guys owe me a thousand dollars. What? Where are you going? Hey! Hey, get back here! You owe me money! What? I I'm selling this camera and, and this couch. Guys, what'd you get for Christmas? Nothing, dude. I still don't have a family. It'd be really hard for Santa's elves to make you a family, Joseph. What about you, Cody? Well, I celebrate Hanukkah, so... Well, my dad gave me a hundred dollars for Christmas. What, dude? What you gonna buy? A family? Calm down, Joseph. I really wanted to buy toys, but there's no toy stores around here. Yeah, I wish there was a store with toys, like, for us. Yeah, like, they had toys that are there for us. Yeah, like, toys... Are us. <gasps> you remember, you remember guys, Toys Are Us? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that was the fun store! Yeah, but it went out of business because they didn't have any money. Yeah. 
I wonder what happened to Jeffrey. I'm right here. No, 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 not you, Jeffrey. I'm talking about Jeffrey the giraffe. I like giraffes. But no, Jeffrey was a giraffe and he was the mascot for Toys R Us. Yeah. I'm gonna look him up, dude. Yeah, Joseph, look at what he's doing now. Oh, dude, apparently he's homeless. He's homeless? Well, yeah, Junior, he doesn't have a job and there's not that many jobs that a giraffe can do. He could be an NBA player. Well, yeah, I guess he could. Oh, dude, he's doing underground fights for money. Oh, he's getting his ass beat. <laughs> oh, I, I wanna watch, I wanna watch. All right, guys, I want a clean fight. Winner takes all. Go! <laughs> Yeah, fight back, bitch! Fight back, nigga! Fight back, nigga! Oh, 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 poor Jeffrey. Yeah, he ate those punches. At least we know he's not starving. Yeah, he ate that six piece with a biscuit, goddamn. <laughs> I wish there was something we could do to help him. What, like get him boxing lessons? No, Cody, he's homeless. I think we should go find him and offer him to stay at my house. Junior, I don't think your dad is gonna let a giraffe live in your house. It's Jeffrey the giraffe, the mascot for Toys R Us. Of course he's gonna let him stay. I don't know, Junior. It seems like a bad idea to let a homeless giraffe in your house. Why? Well, he's doing underground street fights. He's pretty desperate. Come on, Cody. He's a childhood mascot, just like Jared from Subway. And if Jared from Subway was outside, would you let him in? No, no, I wouldn't. But what about all the sandwiches? I don't think the sandwiches matter anymore. Five dollar? No. Five dollar no, foot no, long? No, no, none of that matters. I think he's getting a lot of foot longs in prison. He's in prison? Oh, yeah. For what? Uh, just shut up, Junior. Don't worry about it. All right, guys, come on. Look, let's go find Jeffrey the giraffe and offer him to stay at my house. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Uh, guys, I think I found him. <laughs> Jeffrey? Oh, uh, dude, he's down bad. What? We'll work for food. Is there anything we can do, Jeffrey? Oh, yeah, we'll work for. Uh, oh, 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 no, Jeffrey. You Come don't... on. Oh, you <laughs> have to do all that. Yeah. No, Jeffrey. Jesus I mean, Christ. But if you're offering. Uh, Jeffrey, yeah. listen, uh, we have a house. You can come live with us for a while until you're on your feet. <laughs> I, th I think he wants to go, dude. I think he's pretty desperate. Come on. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing now, but he's celebrating. Come, come to our house, Jeffrey. Uh -oh. Come to our house. On, this way, Jeffrey. All right, Jeffrey, welcome to my house. Go inside, guys. Okay, dude. Watch your head, Jeffrey. Yeah. Oh, shit, guys, Jeffrey fell down. Oh, Jeffrey, we told you to be careful. Come dude, on. Do you need help? Come on. Come on, Jeffrey, you mess. Ugh. All right, Jeffrey, welcome to my house. Junior, he's really tall. I mean, I know he's a giraffe, but damn. So what do we do with him now? What, what do you mean, Junior? This is your idea. Well, uh, he's homeless, so he's probably hungry. Uh, Jeffrey, are you hungry? I think that's a yes, dude. All right, Jeffrey, so go downstairs and go in the fridge and grab whatever you want. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, don't, don't hit your head. Look, duck, if you duck, <laughs> Jeffrey, duck, and go that way. Uh, 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 dude, it's, there it's you not go, there you go, big guy. Mm -mm, mm, my hibachi looks so good. <laughs> What's all that noise? Is that a giraffe? Hey! What are you doing in my refrigerator? Wait, pull that beer back! Wait, you, you get back here right now! Get back here! Oh, get back here, you little neck bastard! You thought you could get away! No, you can't! <laughs> oh, you can't take my beer! Get my beer back! Ow! 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 Uh, guys, I think I just saw Jeffrey run into the bathroom with a bunch of beer. Maybe he had to poop, dude. But, but the beer, though. Maybe he's thirsty, God! Let's go check on him, Cody. Uh, Jeffrey, you in there? Uh, maybe we should just go in. Okay. Jeffrey? Oh, Jeffrey. Oh, buddy. Jeffrey, are, are you okay, Jeffrey? Uh, I don't think he's okay. Uh, Jeffrey? Um, oh, oh, he's trying to get up, he's trying to get up. Oh, 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 oh okay. Jeffrey. Careful, buddy. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Okay, let's just let him sober up. Yeah. Just just stay right there, Jeffrey. Don't hurt yourself. Just need some time. Oh, Cody, I don't know what to do. Well, Junior, I told you it was a bad idea to bring a homeless giraffe into your house. I just wanted to help him out. I don't think we can help him. We gotta give him something to live for. But Toys R Us is closed. That's all he had to live for. Junior, why is there a giraffe stealing beer out of my refrigerator? Oh, that's Jeffrey the giraffe from Toys R Us. I don't give a damn who he is. Look, he's stealing. That's what he's doing. But, but he's just going through a lot right now. Yeah, going through a lot of stuff in my refrigerator. Look, I called the cops, so ha ha. What a, oh no, Sheppy called the cops. Hey there, somebody called the cops about euthanizing a giraffe for stealing? 
feeling? Well, we have a giraffe in the house, but it's Jeffrey the giraffe from Toys R Us. Oh no, not him again. What, you get calls about him a lot? Oh yeah, all the time. Ever since Toys R Us closed, that guy's been a mess. He'll do anything for a buck. I mean, you name it. Street fights, prostitution, smack. He had an OnlyFans for a while, but nobody wanted to buy hoof picks. But no, that guy's a mess. Well, we only let him in the house because we wanted to help him out. Wh why would you do that? He's a wild animal. We were in the Christmas spirit. Yeah, well, Christmas is over, and so is his life, because I'm going to go break his neck. What, break his neck? Why? Well, that's how you euthanize a giraffe. They get big necks, so you got to snap their neck. Well, don't do that. We wanted to give him another chance. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. It's for the best. I'm putting him out of his misery. So where is he? He's this way. All right, officer, he's right here. Oh, oh, Jeffrey, what happened? Look at you. He used to be a childhood hero. Now look at you. You're a pissed drunk in a bathtub. Yeah, that's why we're trying to help him, officer. Uh, okay, kid, I'll tell you what. If you can help him get back on his feet by the end of the night and get a job, then we won't have to put him down. Okay, you mean it? Yeah. Oh, okay, Jeffrey, we're going to find a way to get you a job and bring Toys R Us back and, and just, just stay right here. Sober up, buddy. We're going to help you. Guys, guys, guys! The cop said that if we get Jeffy the giraffe sobered up and a job by the end of the night, he won't break his neck. But how is that gonna happen? He's a drunk. Yeah, dude, there's no way he's gonna get a job. The only thing that makes Jeffy the giraffe happy is Toys R Us. So let's bring Toys R Us back! But Junior, we tried that once before and it didn't work. Yeah. Well, guys, what do most people do when they're washed up and they have no money? Uh, sell their bodies? No, they do boxing! Oh, yeah! But he already tried that and he got his ass kicked. Remember the six-piece combo with the biscuit? Well, what if he got paid $300 million to eat that six-piece combo with the biscuit? But who's gonna pay him that much money? Well, most people fight Floyd Mayweather and they make $300 million in a night. And we don't even need that much money. We only need, like, a couple million to open up a Toys R Us on top of Macy's. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I would pay to see Jeffrey get his ass kicked by Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, so let me go find a boxer that'll fight Jeffrey on pay-per-view. He'll make a couple million, and then he'll get Toys R Us back, and then he'll be happy, and they won't break his neck. Okay. Right, let me go find one. 100, 200, 300, hey! Uh, Mr. D-Money, sir? What's up? You're looking to fight? Uh, yeah, we want to set up a fight. All right, 100 million every fight, 100 million every night. That's the numbers I be putting up. Well, that's the numbers we want to put up. All right, good. Who's looking to fight? Uh, Jeffrey the Giraffe, he used to be the mascot for Toys R Us. He'd like to fight you. Not interested. Well, well, why not? Because I only fight people who are well-known and who give me lots of views on pay-per-view because I'm pay-per-view. Well, um, Jeffrey the Giraffe is famous because he used to be the mascot of Toys R Us. People would love to see you beat him up. Nah, not interested. Uh, okay, you know what? How about I bet you all the money on this table that Jeffrey the Giraffe could beat you up in my living room tonight. Oh, that is a lot of money. Okay, deal. In your living rooms tonight. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And if, if we win, you pay us all this money. And if, if we lose, we have to pay you all this money. Okay, you got yourself a deal. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Okay, guys, the fight is set up. It is? Yeah, with a professional boxer and millions of dollars and everything. Wow, that's great. So he just gets knocked out and he gets paid? Maybe Toys R Us will come back. Well, Jeffrey has to win. Wait, what? Yeah, he only gets paid if he wins the fight. Oh, dude, we screwed. Junior, there's no way that drunk giraffe is going to beat a professional boxer. Well, he has to because if we lose, we have to pay them millions of dollars. Wait, what? Well, listen, 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 guys. Jeffrey's going to win and the fight's in my living room right now, so we have to get him ready. Just come on, we have to, we have to go to the fight. <gasps> All right, Jeffrey, all you have to do is win this boxing match, and Toys R Us will come back. Are you ready, D-Money? Oh, I'm ready. Just ring the bell. Ding, ding. Oh, oh, God. Oh, 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 oh Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, Jeffrey, 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 Jeff
We brought you a Big Mac. We need him fried. I just, I just want one toy, but I can't afford it. So I'm gonna steal it. If the police, Star Wars, that's really cool. Blues Clues, that's not as cool. Monster Trucks, that's really cool. Barbies, that's not as cool. Toys, our us is back. Can't believe it, toys. Our us is back, 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 what do back, you want? back, 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 yeah, back, uh, back, 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 Oh, nigga, it's, it's back. back. Yeah. Alright, class. Today, we're going to be learning about black holes. Black holes can suck up anything. Nothing can escape a black hole. <laughs> How do you think my wife got pregnant? Hey, Cody, your mom has three black holes because she's a hoe. Ha! And you have a black dad. Guys, don't bully me today. Hey, dude, you want a piece of gum? Yeah, sure, Joseph. Teacher, Joseph's chewing gum in class. Cody, you snitch! Joseph, no chewing gum in class! Spit it out! Fine, teacher. <laughs> Joseph, did you just spit gum in my hair? Yeah, my bad, dude. I didn't mean to do that. What do you mean you didn't mean to? You spit it right at me. I couldn't find the trash can. God, you didn't even try. Teacher, can I go to the clinic? I have gum in my hair. How'd you get that in your hair? What the hell you been doing in class, weirdo? Oh, you said gum. You can go to the clinic. Thank you. God, I hate you guys. Joseph, I think you really made Cody upset. He'll get over it, dude. Hey, Joseph, have you heard from Cody? No, dude. Not since he went to the clinic earlier. I hope he's okay. Yeah. Hey, jerks. Oh, hey, Cody. What's up, buddy? Oh, you still have the gum in your hair. Oh, you still have the gum in your hair. Yeah, I know. I do not sound like that, Cody. Why don't you just pull it out, dude? Yeah, why don't you just grab it? Oh, gee whiz, I hadn't thought of grabbing it. It doesn't come out. Well, why don't you take a shower and try to wash it out? I've tried that too, Junior. Gum is sticky. Well, it says online all you have to do is put toothpaste in your hair and the gum will come out. Huh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, Joseph, grab some toothpaste. Okay, I'm on it right now, dude. I got it. All right, start putting on Cody's head. Okay. Well, I think we should put a towel down in case it drips off his face. <laughs> I've heard that one before. I'll go get the towel. Yeah, okay, the towel's down. I'm ready, Daddy. Uh... Why do you have your mouth open? Oh, sorry, it's just a habit. Okay, I'm ready now. All right, Joseph, put the toothpaste on his head. Okay, dude. <clears throat> There we go. Well, how does it look? Now you have pink and blue on your head. It's like a gender reveal. <laughs> what gender are you? We can't assume it. <laughs> what, guys, now I, even, I have an even bigger mess on my head. Well, at least a pigeon didn't poop on it. Yeah, you'll be in trouble then, dude. Mm -hmm. what, guys, what do we do about the gum? Okay, look, why don't we go ask Chef Pee, Pee how to get gum out of your hair? Because, look, he, he works with food all the time, so he probably gets food in his hair all the time. Yeah. No, he has the opposite problem. He gets hair in his food. Oh, tomato, potato. Let's go ask him. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. This mac and cheese is going to be so good. Hey, Chef Pee, Pee what are you doing? Oh, I'm cooking mac and cheese, Junior. Wait, What's on Cody's face? That was a naughty little smurf. And he has gum in his hair. What? Yeah, he has gum in his hair. Look. Oh, oh, gum. Yeah, so how do we get gum out of his hair? It's stuck. Oh, it's an easy fix. All you have to do is stick your hair in this boiling water and the gum will disintegrate. I can't put my head in boiling water. It'll burn my head. Oh, not your head. Your hair, you idiot. Just your hair in the water. Yeah, yeah. And look, I'll, I'll hold you so you don't fall in. Uh, okay. Yeah, look, look. You want that gum out of your hair, right? Uh, All right, look, look, look. Oh, my phone's ringing. I am so sorry, Cody. Junior, you dropped me in boiling water. My phone was ringing. Well, now I have third degree burns all over my face. Look at the bright side, Cody. Now you can play as Deadpool, you know, because his face is all ugly. Yeah, I get it. Or Darth Vader. Yeah, Darth Vader, because Darth Vader's face is all burned and ugly. Yeah, okay, I get it. Or Darth Maul, because his face is all red and scary. Okay, great. Are there any other horribly disfigured people I look like? Ooh, Freddy Krueger. Yeah, Freddy Krueger, because his face is all burned and ugly. Yeah, yeah cool. For couldn't forget about him, yeah. Wait, wait, there's still gum in your hair, Cody. You know what? Just, just shave it off. I don't even care anymore. Oh, I've been waiting for you to say it, dude. All right, shape, shape. <laughs> and done. Oh, you are one ugly freak, if I do say so myself. Mm-hmm. I really love how it's just bully me day. Hey, Cody, look down. Uh, hey, Joseph, look, the top of Cody's head looks like the stains in my underwear. <laughs> he doesn't wipe. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. So look, Cody, look, at least the gum's not in your hair anymore. So when your hair grows back, it'll be beautiful. Yeah, but my face won't. Your face was never beautiful, Cody. It had all those pimples. And look, those burns really distract from the pimples on your face. Yeah. Well, that's great. I just don't know what my parents are going to say when I go home. Well, you don't have to go home. You can stay here as long as you want. Your parents will never know. Who's that? 
Hello? Is Cody here? His black butt better be here! Uh, yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, thank God. We were tracking him. We put a microchip in him at the vet. Yeah, it only costs $50. I know the veterinarian personally. She got ass for days! It's true, she does. And if I was a dog, I would beg for her to put me down every night. Put me down like a baby! Goo goo ga ga! <laughs> well, 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 Cody's upstairs. Oh, good, because we need to talk to him. I have to spank his little tushy for not coming home. And for not eating his Brussels sprouts last night, no! Yeah, that's right. It's a waste of Brussels sprouts. Yeah, he think we playing about them Brussels sprouts. No, no, nah, we ain't playing. Oh, okay, well, Cody's upstairs. Okay. <sighs> All right, Cody's right here. But Junior, what are my parents doing here? Cody, what happened to your face? And why didn't you eat your Brussels sprouts last night, boy? Okay, first of all, Brussels sprouts are gross. <gasps> you better watch your damn mouth before I make your face uglier than it already is. But Cody, what about your face? Well, my face fell into some boiling water. That's not how you bob for apples, boy. You don't bob in boiling water, you bob in regular water. You crazy? Well, I wasn't bobbing for apples. Then why are you sticking your head in boiling water, stupid? Well, if you would just let me finish, I was gonna say I was trying to get gum out of my hair. That's not how you get gum out your hair. You don't stick your head in boiling water. You go to the gas station for gum. What? N no, no, I was trying to get the gum out of my hair. We'll jump in the shower if it's in your hair, boy. Mom, are you getting any of this? Cody, you look hideous. We should call a doctor. But, Mom, we can't call a doctor. Pablo doesn't have three arms. I mean, I know he's gorgeous and he's immensely talented and he's basically carrying the channel at this point, but there's no way he could play all three characters at the same time. Yeah, Cody. Cody, you're right. I'll go home so the doctor can come. Hey there, somebody call a doctor. Ugly, ugly burn face bald is what you are. Uh, I'm sorry. Look, I got fired from the burn unit at the hospital because I just can't handle ugly or gross.